Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a crochet washcloth with two different borders. The free written pattern can be found on my website at julesandjones.com and the link for that can be found in the description box below. Let's get started. You will need two skeins of a worsted weight yarn. I'm using We Crochet's Dishy in the color Inlet and in the color Swan. You're also going to need a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors to cut your yarn, and a stitch marker. You might find it helpful when making the border of this pattern. All right, let's get started. So to start our crochet washcloth pattern, we are gonna to need to chain 36. So first, let's make our slip knot. Go ahead and grab your yarn, wrap it around your finger twice. Take the back piece, push it over the front piece and then take the front piece and push it over the back piece and over your finger, then pull tight. Now grab your crochet hook, insert it into that loop and then just pull it tight one more time. All right, so now we can start our chains. So to make a chain, yarn over and pull through and that'll be your first chain. Now just continue to do this until you have 36 chains. Once you have made your 36 chains, we are going to start our first row. So we're gonna skip the first chain and we're gonna make a single crochet and double crochet in the second chain. So go ahead and make your single crochet by inserting your hook, yarning over, pulling through, yarning over one more time and pulling through those two loops. And now you've made a single crochet. And so now you wanna make a double crochet in that same chain. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and then yarn over and pull through the next two loops. All right, so that is our first stitch. So now what we're gonna do is, we are just going to repeat this stitch. So we're gonna skip the next chain and make a single crochet and double crochet in the following chain. So go ahead and insert your hook into that chain, make a single crochet, and then make a double crochet. Now you wanna continue to repeat this the same stitch until the last two chains. Okay, so we're gonna skip the next chain and make a single crochet and a double crochet. And then just continue to repeat that stitch until the last two stitches. All right, so I just finished my last single and double crochet, and so I'm at my last two chains. And so now you're going to skip a chain and you're gonna make a single crochet in that last chain. So go ahead and make your single crochet. All right, and that completes row one. Okay, so now we're gonna start row two. So for row two, you want to chain one. We're gonna turn our work and it's gonna be very similar to row one because all we're gonna be doing is making single crochets and double crochets. So in this very first stitch, which is right here, you're going to make one single crochet and then make a double crochet in that same stitch. Now we're gonna skip a stitch and we're gonna make a single crochet again and a double crochet all in the same stitch. So now you're just gonna repeat that pattern, that little sequence, until your last two stitches. All right, so I'm here and I'm almost done with my row two, so I've got two stitches left. So this is my first stitch right here, and then this is my second one. So now we're just going to skip the next stitch and place a single crochet in that last stitch. And that completes row two. So now what you wanna do for the washcloth pattern is, is that you want to continue to repeat row two until row 26. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to it. All right, so I've just finished my crochet washcloth. And so to end it, all you wanna do is yarn over and pull through and then just work in your tail ends. I do recommend doing this um, before you start your border, make it a little bit easier. So since this washcloth pattern has two border options, I'm just gonna show you step by step. So we're gonna start off with the crab stitch border. Now the crab stitch border is made using a reverse single crochet. So as you can tell, you get these beautiful little waves by making a reverse single crochet stitch. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so you wanna go ahead and grab your second color. So in the pattern, the second color is inlet and you wanna go ahead and grab your crochet hook as well. Go ahead and insert your crochet hook into that first stitch because we need to add new yarn to the border. 
So go ahead and insert your crochet hook, then take that new color, drape it over the crochet hook, and then carefully pull it through. Now you just want to chain one to secure it, and then just pull a little bit at the tail end just to secure it even more. Okay, so we're gonna be making the crab stitch first. Now the crab stitch is made left to right because we're making a reverse single crochet stitch. So insert your hook back into that same stitch where you attach the yarn and you are going to yarn over and pull through. So you're yarning over this piece right here, the working yarn. So take your crochet hook and slowly pull it through. You should have two loops and then yarn over, pull through those two loops and that's it. That's how you make a crab stitch. Now let's go ahead and make another one. So into our next stitch right here, go ahead and place your crochet hook there, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through those two loops. And that's it. So you just wanna to continue to do that all the way around the washcloth. All right, so I've just about finished my border, and so all that's left to do is just slip stitch to my first stitch. So what you wanna do is, you wanna take your crochet hook and you're gonna place it right underneath those first two loops to create a slip stitch. So go ahead and work it underneath there. And then grab your yarn and then yarn over to make a slip stitch. Just like that. Okay, and so now all that's left to do is just to work in this end. And that's how you make the crab stitch border. So now I'm gonna show you how to make the peacock stitch border. So this is a peacock stitch and it's also very simple and we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. Okay, so now we're gonna be making our peacock stitch border. So for the peacock stitch border, we are gonna be starting on the right side instead of the left side. So the peacock stitch is just made in the correct order right to left. So go ahead and grab your crochet hook because we're gonna to have to add our yarn again. Insert your hook, take your yarn, drape it over, and then just pull it through then chain one and then just pull your tail end a little bit to secure it there you go all right so for the peacock stitch we are going to be single crocheting so you have to make one single crochet and then you have to make another one okay so go ahead and make your first single crochet in the same stitch you attach the yarn to And remember, you can always pull it tight if it looks a little loose. Okay, so go ahead and make your second single crochet. Okay, so now we are gonna chain three. One, two, three. And then you're going to slip stitch it to the front loop of your single crochet. So the front loop is this loop right here. So go ahead and make a slip stitch. So you do that by inserting your hook, yarning over, and then pulling through. Okay, and that is your first peacock stitch. Now to make this a little bit secure, we're gonna go ahead and make a single crochet in the following stitch. And then you wanna make another single crochet. And then you're going to chain three again. And then slip stitch to that top front loop of your single crochet. And I'm just gonna make one more single crochet here really quickly just to show you what it looks like. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this now. All right, and so you are just gonna continue that pattern of making two single crochets, chain three, and then slip stitch to that top front loop all the way around the washcloth. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to it. All right, so I've just about finished with my peacock stitch border. So I've just got one more left to make. So I have to make a single crochet in that same stitch where I added my yarn. And I'm just gonna chain three. And then I'm going to slip stitch into that first single crochet. All right, that's it. And so now I've made that. So now what you wanna do is, you just want to make a slip stitch to the following stitch. So that's right here. And you can always, if you prefer, you can always add a little another peacock stitch right here. I'm just gonna slip stitch it. Okay. And then just grab your scissors, cut your yarn, 
and then you're just going to yarn over and pull through. All right, and now you have finished with the peacock stitch border. All right, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed making this crochet washcloth with me. Don't forget, you can check out the free pattern and step-by-step -step photos for this washcloth on my blog. The link for that will be in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.